vogue in this part of the world has a lot to do with your creativity and consistency. Looking at the fashion of today, one can conclusively say that the styles cherished and mostly adored at the time of our forefathers are coming back to becoming the talk of the time currently. A good example is the Afro hairstyles adopted by females and some males of today. The boot cut kind of trouser, Bonaboy kind of outfit, crop top used by Afro babes in the past, jerry coil, wearing of waist bead, heels under men's shoes, leg chains, anklets, and the use of numerous finger rings to mention few. It can be established that even though the world is evolving and new things are being introduced per second and our fashion sense are getting sophisticated as well, still those retro fashion find their conduct into the trends of what we still use. Coming from the angle of hairstyles and piercing of various body parts, this art has been in existence for centuries and the practice has not ceased among the youngsters, especially youths that treasures being in vogue or updated in fashion. Currently, people make hair for different reasons and people get piercing for various reasons such as beauty, aesthetic appeal, self-expression and sexual pleasure. But in various African civilizations, hairstyles and piercing had many cultural meanings apart from being a form of body modification. These are different types of hairstyles such as braid, wigs, cornrows, twists, Admole weaves such as Ghana weaving, etc. Some Nigerians take making air to end their daily living, while some couldn't afford going to school, ended up in the trade of their air making. Because my passion is what I love. So I have no other thing that I want to do. I love making air. And most times I think I need it because it's what you like. You know, like you want to take your time and be patient with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's just that it's how you set up a business, that's how you make customers. Like the, uh, the way your shop looks, it is so fine and beautiful, I'm uh, sure you make your money. And people won't complain when you pay price for them. But if it's just, you'll be like, uh. and one thing is that when they see that your shop is not that beautiful, they will downgrade you. They feel like, you know, like you can't make up to that. So I think that's just. The mobile business, I mean, you can go to service anywhere at any time. Once you have the equipment, it's very nice. So, I got my piercings because I really like the pain out of 10 was a 6 when I was getting it it was like an injection in my tongue it was like an injection in my tongue it didn't hurt at all it hurt and i flinched obviously you guys could so like saw by the video but like not <laughs> yeah there was blood um and i felt great after like these are different kinds or types of piercing ear piercing nose piercing facial piercing lip piercing nipple piercing, navel piercing, genital piercing, and so much more to mention few. As trendy and beautiful as piercing are, they can develop injuries, determinant to the body's health without proper care. Every person carries the risk of having an infection because a piercing is an open wound. Wounds on the body easily infections when exposed to germs and not properly cleaned. The same happens to piercing when exposed to germs are not carefully treated. Infections to a piercing can develop pus, growing swellings, foul smell, and constant bleeding. The aftermath of piercing can also cause redness and severe pain to the surrounding areas of the pierced body parts. Skin conditions like colored scars and itching can also occur as a result of a reaction to the type of earring or product used to clean the piercing. All of this causes great discomfort to the body and can leave a permanent scar on the pierced body area. To avoid this risk, it is recommended to be properly informed about different types of piercing before deciding to get any. 
Despite the way Esther and piercing have been flaunted across the centuries, the practice began in primitive tribes for superstitious reasons. In this era, fashion is a reflection of who we are and what we believe. You can't get away from what your style says about you, and because it can say so much, it can be driving force of change, not just a reflection of it.